So it looks like it's working. So we'll just give it a minute and see if anyone's going to be joining us because it's not quite half past one yet. Okay. I still got my bracelet. Oh yeah. Do you want to keep your bracelet on or should we take it off the yoga? Keep it on. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Even away. It's okay. So, have you got anything you need to say? Yeah. Yeah, probably don't need a blanket. It's quite warm, mm -hmm. isn't it? So, where are we? We are now at 1.30. So, let's make a start. Hello and welcome to today's yoga lesson, which is ideally suited for ages 4 to 7, but is totally fine for all ages to join in and take part with us. So this week is uh, Mental Health Awareness Week. And we are touching upon it in different ways throughout our different classes this week. But today we are doing so by using a story in our yoga practice. So we're going to be practicing our yoga along with Zog and the Flying Doctors by the wonderful Julia Donaldson. Um, and this is a story really about them following their dreams and being able to offer kindness to all the people we meet. And kindness is a really good thing for our mental well-being. So the first and most important thing is that we show kindness to ourselves. So trying to minimize any negative or bad thoughts you might have about yourself, about not being good enough or trying hard enough and just accepting the way you are and maybe using kind words towards yourself about all the amazing things that you can do and that you try to do. Um, and then once you're showing that kindness to yourself and it fills up your own cup, it becomes possible for that to spill out of the top and you'll find yourself being kind to others, which makes them feel happy and loved as well. So we're using our story of Zog and the Blind Doctors to move through our poses, but just noticing that underlying theme of kindness throughout the story. So we're going to start by making our way over to our mats and finding a comfortable seated position. So we'd invite you to do the same, whether that's sitting on your bottoms or up on your knees. If you don't have a mat, then don't worry, you can do this on any non-slip surface. And importantly, make sure that you've popped off your socks so that you have good grip. And remembering that first rule of showing kindness to yourself. So if anything in the practice today feels at all uncomfortable, or you're just feeling a little bit tired, then do take notice of that and maybe just adjust the position, or allow yourself to take some rest, either sitting down like this, or curled up in rock pose, and just come back to the practice as and when you feel ready. So from that comfortable seated position, see if you can grow a little bit taller. Imagining that golden thread in the top of your head as you lift yourself up towards the sky, letting the hands rest on top of your legs. So we take three deep breaths together with the chime. Each time we hear it, smelling the beautiful flowers and blowing those dandelion seeds. Fantastic. So we're going to hop straight up to our feet now and warm up all through our bodies, ready to follow that story of Zog and the Flying Doctors. So we're going to start with two rounds of sun salutations to get a good stretch and warm up throughout the entire body. So coming to stand towards the front of your mat or practice space, really rooting your feet down into the floor and bringing your hands together in front of your heart as you grow just a little bit taller. Take a deep breath in and out. And then we'll stretch up high, way to the sun, hand down low and tickle your toes. Beast jump back, just like a frog, belly on the ground, just like a snake. Look at the sun, now downward dog. 
and breathe and breathe. Be just a just like a frog, and now now I take all your toes, stretch up high way to the sun. Mountain pose. Look what you've done. Big breath in and out. Then stretch up high, way to the top. I now know I'm tickling your toes. Feet jump back, just like a frog. Belly on the ground, just as you say. Look at the sun. Now downward dog and breathe and breathe. Be jump up just like a frog. Hand down low and tickle your toes. Stretch up high, way to the sun. Mountain pose. Now what you done? Fantastic job everyone, taking one more big breath in and out. And we're going to delve straight into our story of Zog and the Flying Doctors. We're going to start by meeting the characters to begin with. So as we start the story, we meet the Flying Doctors, a dragon, knight and girl. So we're going to see if we can make ourselves into all three of those things straight away. So coming up to stand nice and tall, we're going to start off by making ourselves into a dragon. So we're going to do this on both sides, so it doesn't matter which leg you choose first. We're going to take a big step forward with one leg, bending that knee and then popping the back one down onto the floor. Lovely, nice and firm as you reach the arms up like a dragon. Take a big breath in. As you breathe out, sweep your wings out wide and breathe fire. <sighs> Wonderful, great dragon. Then tuck those back toes under. Gonna come all the way up to standing. Keep that front knee bent as you bring up your arms like a brave knight. Lovely, big breath in and out here. And then the girl, bring those feet together, stand nice and tall, hands by your side. Lovely, we're going to repeat that on the other side as we get to know what those characters' names are. So turn to face the other way. Remember which leg you just had in front. This time we're going to step forward with the other side, okay? So start with a big step forward, bend that knee and then pop your back knee down. As we meet our dragon, his name is Zog. Reach your arms up high. Breathe in. Breathe out fire. <sighs> Lovely. Tuck those back toes. See if you can lift yourself up tall. Turn the foot sideways. Bring the arms out like that brave knight. So gather out. Big breath in. And out. Step those feet together, stand nice and tall. As we meet our girl, Princess Pearl. Big breath in and out. Lovely. So now we know who those characters are. The dragon, knight and girl. Their names are Gadabout the Great and Zog and Princess Pearl. Pearl gives people medicine and pills and vaccinations. And Gadabout is expert at performing operations. Zog is good at flying, though not quite so good at landing. But Gadabout and Princess Pearl are always understanding. So showing their kindness, taking care of people, and being understanding that Zog always tries his best, even if he doesn't quite get it right. Okay, so flying high one morning, they heard a mermaid wail. I'm sunburned and it hurt, she cried, and swished her scaly tail. So let's head into mermaid pose now, shall we? So if you come to sit on your bottom to begin with, bending those knees in front of you, 
Now we're going to imagine that there are mermaids here. Bring our hands to the floor, pick up the feet and swish them out to one side together so that you're sitting on that hip. Sit nice and tall upon your rock. As you begin to gently twist towards those bent knees, looking over that back shoulder. Take a lovely big breath in and out. Maybe even swishing your lovely mermaid hair. Fantastic. Then bring those feet in front of you. Take a little rest here for a moment. As bang, crash, thump, they landed. The mermaid's skin was red, pearl rubbed in special cream, and where this hat she set. So come into your mermaid pose on the opposite side, swish your legs out the other way, sitting tall through the body, beginning to twist towards that bent knee, big breath in and out, maybe even swishing your hair, or if you're a merman, maybe just rubbing that lovely beard. Wonderful, swinging your leg back to the front. As thank you, said the mermaid. She waved a fond goodbye as a team of flying doctors sped away into the sky. Should we see who they meet next? Who do you think is next? Do you remember? A lion. A lion? That would be strange, wouldn't it? So as the sun rose higher, they saw a unicorn. He pawed the ground and whinnied. I've grown an extra horn. So let's make ourselves into that unicorn. Head over onto your hands and knees. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Those knees are beneath the hips, so you've got a nice flat back here. Now make sure you have your balance. We're going to pick up one arm. Bringing it out in front of you, bring the hand onto the forehead just like a unicorn's horn. Take a big breath in and out. Place the hand down, rest back on your knees for a moment. How can we help this unicorn? Well, bang, crash, dump, they landed. I'll help you, said the knight. He cut the horn off gently to the unicorn's delight. So we're down to one horn now. We're going to practice that on the other arm. So from that all fours position, back on your hands and knees. See if you can bring up the other hand to the front of your head, just like that unicorn's horn. Take a big breath in, lift your head a little higher. Breathing in and out. Lovely. Thank you, said the unicorn for taking so much care. And the team of flying doctors sped away into the air. So do you think maybe it might be a lion now? Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look, shall we? Who have we got? <gasps> Halfway through the afternoon, they heard a lion sneeze. I've caught the flu, the lion roared. Can someone help me, please? So we're going to practice our lion breath here, but with a little bit of a difference, because our poor lion's got a bit of a sore throat and a sneeze. So pop up onto your knees, sitting nice and tall. You can rest your hands on top of your legs or bring them up in front of you for louder, bigger claws. And we'll take our big breath in, but as we breathe out with a very gentle whisper of a roar, finishing with a achoo. So we'll try it together. Ready? Sit up nice and high, breathe in. Raw whisper. Achoo! Fantastic. Well, that just won't do, will it? Let's see if we can help. Well, bang, crash, thump, they landed. And Pearl said, take this pill and do keep warm. That's terribly important when you're ill. But the lion's cave was chilly. So Zork said, fetch some wood. Then he breathed out lots of flame until the fire burned bright and good. So our lion's feeling a little bit sleepy now, he's all cosy and warm. So from that kneeling position, breathe in, stretch it all the way up. Breathe out with a yawn. 
coming over onto your knees as you curl up for a little snooze by the fire. Thank you, roared the lion. I'm feeling nice and warm. Then the team of flying doctors fell away into the storm. So rising back up, you can rest on your knees or your bottom for a moment. Let's see what happens next. As evening fell, they saw a great big palace down below. My uncle's house, said Princess Pearl. Let's go and say hello. So let's hop up onto our feet and see if we can make ourselves into a lovely palace or castle. So come all the way up to standing. Take those feet out a little bit wider, as wide as your mat if you have one. Turn those toes outwards so they're coming out diagonally at that 45 degree. Going to bend into our knees as we make a good firm wide base on our palace, okay? So bend those knees, that's it, lovely. And palaces and castles need to have those beautiful towers or turrets. Bring your arms out to the side. Lovely big breath. Then straighten up those legs and bring them together. Let's see who lives inside. The bang crash stomp they landed. Pearl's uncle was the king. His king might be sitting in his throne. So bring your feet, glue them together. Sit your bottom back down as if in your throne. And then bring your hands to rest your crown upon your head. Lovely. Straighten yourself up. You can let your crown rest if you wish. He didn't say hello. He said, you naughty thing. Oh dear, he sounds a bit cross. Should we come down and see what he's cross about? Where have you been, he thundered. You look an awful mess. What's happened to your crown? And where's your pretty, frilly dress? But uncle, can't you see that I'm a doctor now, said Pearl. The king replied, princesses can't be doctors, silly girl. Oh dear. He doesn't sound too kind or happy, does he? Let's see what happens next. He told his men to seize her and lock her up inside. Princess Pearl was furious. She stamped, she stormed, she cried. Let's let out some of that frustration that Pearl must have been feeling. Get back up onto those feet, stand really tall, See if you can start to stomp and march on the spot. Maybe bringing in those arms, giving them a good old swing. You can even march around on your back, stomping and storming all that anger out. Maybe even a big sigh. <sighs> Lovely. Come down to see if you give yourself a little bit of a rest. Weeks went by, but Princess Pearl spent many weary hours sewing pretty cushions and arranging pretty flowers. So with those legs crossed, see if you can sit nice and tall. And then take a nice breath in. And then just begin to fold forward as if you're sewing and concentrating. Super, she does all those cushions. Bring yourself back up tall. Make your hands into a pretty flower. Open up the petals. And then slowly reach them up high overhead. Keep looking at the hands. Big breath in. And out. Floating the hands back down. The others tried to rescue her with all their might and main. But they simply couldn't manage. Their efforts were in vain. Each night they flew to visit her and perched upon her sill. And one dark night she told them that the king had fallen ill. The king grew worse, his head was sore, 
His arms and legs felt weak. His skin had turned bright orange, and he found it hard to speak. So just take a moment, lay down either on your back or your tummy, imagining that you're feeling weak and heavy, maybe even a funny shade of orange coats your skin. Let's have a little rest here for a moment. He called a lot of doctors, a new one every day. He croaked, what is this illness? But they simply couldn't say. You can come back up to seated or rest on your back if you like as we move on. The doctors didn't know the answer, but Pearl was pretty sure. It looks like orange fever and she read about the cure. The grated horn of unicorn, a mighty lion sea, some mermaid scales, a little slime, and half a pound of cheese. She told the others what to get, and do be very quick. My uncle could be dying, he looks extremely sick. Away through Zog and Gadabat, they reached the lion's den. Bang, crash, thump, he landed. As we come back to our knees into our lion pose, we need to give them that lion's knee. So remember, hands on the legs, grow tall, big breath in, whisper of a roar, So the lion sneezed for them, and then they flew back to the forest where the grateful unicorn was very pleased to give them is unwanted sawn off horn. So remember on your hands and knees, find that unicorn pose. Nice flat back, lifting one hand up to make that unicorn looking forward. Bow the head back down, swapping hands. Bring the other one up to make your unicorn lift your head looking forward. Lower it back down. Coming back to sit on your knees for a moment. They went back to the mermaid's rock they flew. She gladly gave some scales. So swish your tail out to one side, sitting tall. There's beautiful blue scales adorning your tail. Maybe picking one or two off to give to Gadabout and Zog. As you pick up your legs, swing your tail round. Sit tall, picking some scales off from the other side of your beautiful blue tail. Fantastic. So we have our scales. And her tiny sea snail friends allowed them to collect their slimy trails. So roll onto your back just like the shell of a snail. Hug those knees in tight towards your chest. And have a little wriggle. See if you can move up or down your mat. Lovely. Without using your hands, try rocking yourself up to seated. Zog said, I'm exhausted. But he flew and flew until, bang, crash, thump, they landed on the bedroom windowsill. Princess Pearl said thank you for the scales, the slime, the sneeze, and the horn, which she grated up with half a pound of cheese. So as you're sitting up, imagine your legs are a mixing bowl. Maybe bring the soles of the feet together to make some space. Let's throw in. The scales, the sneeze, the slime, the horn, and then shake the arms as you grate up the cheese. Bring your hands together. Begin to stir that mixing bowl one way. And also back the other way. Mixing up the king's medicine to beat that orange fever. Fantastic. Let your hands release it anywhere that's comfortable. Princess Pearl, oh no, we did that bit. 
She tiptoed to her uncle's room. The king lay in his bed. She held a spoonful to his mouth. Now open wide, she said. You must see how wide you can open your mouth without making a sound, okay? So sit wherever it's comfortable. Really open your mouth as wide as you can. Give it a little wiggle from side to side. Open and close. Stretch it out. Maybe even sticking out your tongue. Ah, lovely. Let that mouth be soft and relaxed. After just one spoonful, her uncle felt much stronger. And after spoonful two, he wasn't orange any longer. After spoonful three, the king was dancing with delight. Princesses can be doctors. You are absolutely right. I'm sorry that I locked you up. Of course, you must go free. But do come back to visit me and bring your friends to tea. So just as we're sitting down, let your arms and legs be nice and free. Take the legs perhaps a little wide. We're going free, spread your arms up high and then give them a shake or a wiggle any way that feels good in your body. Then maybe bring the hands down, pick up the legs, give them a shake and a wiggle. Maybe see if you could do both together, feeling really free. Wonderful. Float those legs back down, take a pause and a rest. Hooray, cried Pearl, and out she ran to join the other two. Then off into the sunset sped the flying Dr. Crew. Fantastic, and as we think about that glorious sunset at the end of the day, come to seated, bring your legs in front of you, bending your knees, then gently and kindly roll onto your back. Have a little gentle rock from side to side, showing kindness to your back. Pausing in the middle, let those feet softly drop down onto the floor. Keeping those knees bent as you swish your knees from side to side. Moving slowly with kindness to the body. As you let the legs slow down to a stop in the middle, begin to slowly stretch the legs out long. Have a little wriggle as you find a comfortable position to lay still on your back. Pop on a blanket if you wish. Snuggle up with your cuddly toy. Have a final fidget. And then let your body become completely still. Gently closing your eyes. Picturing all the colours of the sky as the sun begins to set. You might see blues and oranges, pinks and purples, yellows and reds. Just noticing the patterns that the colours make in the sky. Noticing whether there's any clouds wisping in front of you. And as you feel the gentle warmth of the setting sun, bathe in your body. Filling you with love, kindness, 
an understanding towards yourself. As the warmth of the setting sun continues to radiate throughout your body, to the very tips of your fingers and toes, feel yourself filled with love, kindness, and understanding towards others. Enjoying a few more moments lying in stillness. Noticing the sounds around you. And the feeling of the air on your skin. Beginning to gently wriggle your fingers and your toes and showing your body love and kindness. Gently bring yourself up to find a comfortable seated position. Allow that golden thread to lift you a little taller. As you rest both hands on top of each other, in front of your heart. Pausing here as we take three death breaths together with the chime. And bringing the palms and fingertips together in front of that heart space. As we bow our heads with love and kindness to one another. Yeah. Namaste. So thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. I do hope that you enjoyed the story of Zog and the Flying Doctors by Julia Donaldson. It's a really great story, follows on beautifully from the original Zog book. So do check that out if you haven't had a chance to read it before. Um, we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Have good fun in the sunshine. Stay safe and um, look after each other. And most importantly, remember to look after yourself. See if you can find one thing each day that's a really kind thing you could say about yourself to yourself. So it was, as ever, lovely to share this practice with you. Stay kind, stay safe, and we'll see you again very soon. So take care. Bye-bye. Say bye. -bye. <laughs>